I know people keep doing crazy things on the internet like banging nails on the floorboard using smartphones, throwing them off of rooftops just for your entertainment. I'm not going to do something that crazy, but again, I need to test the durability of this phone and I am going to do that in this video. Hey guys, this is Cyrus and you are watching Fiber and today we are reviewing a phone that a lot of people have been talking about primarily due to its durability. The Honor X9B. I have been confusing it and saying Honor 9XB for some reason, I don't know, but the name is confirmed. It's Honor X9B and we'll be reviewing it, telling you what is so special about this smartphone and whether you should be buying this in the mid range and also the color. I want to know what's your opinion. Let's get started with the review. Alright, right off the bat, the design of the phone is quite elegant. It's sleek and weighs just 185 grams, which is quite lighter in fact than most of the heavy battery phones that you see in the market these days. So I think uh, the battery management and the design overall in terms of weight it's pretty nice. The vegan leather back adds a luxurious look and feel to the design only to be accentuated by the dual ring design. And again, like I said before, I really want you to have a look at this design. What do you have to say about something like this? Does a mid-range phone having a design like this really warrant all that attention that they are seeking? Let us know in the comments. All right, I'll confess the leather does help with the grip, but the smudges come on and that might be a deal breaker for many. So get the black variant if you can. Rest, if you like the color, please let us know. And I'm sure among the audience, I'm, I'm sure there must be a lot of people who would love this color for uh, different reasons. I'm not saying anything, but yeah, you get the hint. On the size, there is a plastic frame with metallic finish, which kind of looks premium, uh, although again, it's plastic. There is a single speaker grill at the bottom, USB-C and SIM card tray, so everything looks sorted. The volume rocker and the power button sit smartly on the right. Overall, it's a good design, doesn't feel overwhelming in the hand, despite the fact that it is a big display, but the weight management has been fantastic. So even if you're using it with one hand, it will be very comfortable. It's a sturdy device, no doubt. We dropped it a couple of times on a marble floor and it was able to survive the drop. Minus a few dents, the sides picked up, the glass didn't have any scratches and that was really what sealed the deal for us. Now it will also benefit you knowing that Honor is ready to replace the screen if it is damaged within the six month period after you buy the phone. So yeah, that's a good thing. Honor is confident about its display, but if you damage it after that, good luck. You get a 6.78 inch AMOLED curved display with 120 Hz refresh rate and 429 PPI. Watching content on it is no trouble. You get good colors and the contrast, everything looks well balanced. It fared well in our display test with an optimum display of colors across a wide gamut. Scrolling or content consumption won't be a problem and it's a pleasing, pleasing experience looking at this display. I would have loved it if Honor offered more than 1200 nits of peak brightness on this device because if you're watching content inside in a controlled environment, things would be easier. But the moment you take it outside under harsh sunlight, things will be a bit difficult for you to read content on the device. It won't be as legible as you get in a device that has more than 1200 nits. So yeah, that could be a deal breaker for some people. I found that the five fold eye protection in the display helped me when I was using the phone in the dark. The dynamic dimming feature adjusts the brightness to ensure I get a smooth viewing experience. Overall, it's a good display and it gets the job done when you are consuming content or are a daily user, even if you are binging. Just make sure when you're taking it outdoors, things might not be easy for you to watch the content. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's something you will have to deal with. The Honor X9B is powered by the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 processor, which is a gaming chipset. You get 8GB of physical RAM with 8GB of virtual processing power added to the phone. It can handle the daily tasks with ease. In a few weeks, we were using the phone. We ran into no trouble in terms of app performance. Multitasking was smooth and I never felt that the phone was giving up on me even when I was playing high-end games on it. 
Now, here's a look at some of the benchmark scores that we recorded during our review. Here's what it was able to clock during the Antutu test. Geekbench scores kept the phone in the lower half of the list where it almost matched the same scores as the Nothing Phone 1 in the multi-core department. We even ran the CPU throttling test on it for 30 minutes and these were the results. While I will not recommend this smartphone for a high-end user or someone who has to throw in a lot of high-end tasks on the device, but for daily tasks like your daily mails, WhatsApp, Instagram, basic usage, I think it will fare well. The extra 8GB of virtual RAM comes in handy when you're gaming on this phone. BGMI was running smoothly in HDR mode with extreme frame rate on. You get a smooth gaming experience without any lags or frame drops even at 60 fps which is quite impressive for a phone in this price range i wasn't that impressed with the sound quality at offer here which is why i was mostly using my headphones when i was consuming content on it so yeah that could be a deal breaker for a lot of people during the gaming test the phone did heat up a little but not as much that would interrupt your gaming session you get Magic OS 7.2 in the X9B on top of Android 13. Honor has promised two years of software updates and three years of security updates with this phone. Now I'm someone who is used to using the application drawer and I missed that feeling on the Honor X9B because I'm used to scrolling up, scrolling through the ads but no application drawer here so yeah the UI is a bit fresh but not the same as I am used to. Now there is a magic text AI feature on this phone that helps extract text from images but again I can already do that with Google Lens so what's new here? 5G connectivity is stable on the device and I was able to get stable 4G connection in places where usually it's tough getting decent reception. Overall performance is good with no deal breakers, however be sure about the UI. While Magic OS is new, there would be some people who might like the animations and the customization that the phone offers but be very sure that you will be okay using something like this before you make the final purchase. Now moving to the camera department, you are getting some cool AI integrations with the Honor X9B. There's a primary 108 megapixel camera, 5 megapixel wide angle and a 2 megapixel macro lens. 2 megapixel macro lens in 2024. Now you also get a 16 megapixel shooter on the front. We tested out the camera and these were some of the results. Images from the primary sensor at standard 1x magnification came out well. They look sharp and clear. The AI in the camera automatically adjusts the frame and settings as per your shot. So if you're clicking a car, it will identify it and change the settings. Wide angle shots tend to be on the slightly warmer side and the 3x optical zoom wasn't as impressive as we imagined. Images taken inside are rich enough in contrast, however focus was an issue when the light was low. Portraits are good with accurate separation from the background even when you're clicking objects. And the good thing is that you can adjust the bokeh effect. Macro shots seemed missing that punch in terms of quality and we can say the same about the low light shots clicked here. The night mode results are better but there is a stark color shift in the output. Selfies came out good as it was able to project true colors in the results in the normal mode and even the portrait shots were decent from the 16 megapixel camera. Low light selfies lacked clarity but the inbuilt fill light helps with the shots. You also get dual video mode for the rear camera and it can come in handy for content creators. Let's now take a look at the video quality of the Honor X9B. All right guys, so this is the rear camera, 1080p 60fps on the Honor X9B. As you can see, the light is a bit dim, but I want you to put in the comments, what do you think about the quality? What do you think about the entire lighting that it's letting in? And also the stabilization, because right now, as you can see, I am moving around, which kind of talks about the stabilization of this camera. So you can let us know in the comments, what do you think about the colors, the contrast, and whatever the light it is taking. And also the audio quality coming in from the mic, because this is Mike's audio, so let us know. And now I'll show you how it performs in 4K mode. So this is 4K 30fps on the camera and as you can see the stabilization takes a bit of a hit when you move to 30fps but this camera offers 4K recording which is excellent. Let us know about the colors, whether there's any change in the quality of the camera because you're shifting a total resolution here. But again, the fact that this offers 4K gives you an advantage. So let us know in the comment section what do you think about the quality 
of the Honor X 9B's rear camera. And now I'm going to show you how the selfie works. So this is the selfie camera, 16 megapixel, 1080p, 30fps. That's the max setting that's available. And I'm right now moving around and stabilization can be said it's a bit iffy, not that stable in my hand. But again, quality differs when you are uh, watching the output. Uh, in terms of colors, I think it is fine, but look at this. It's kind of burning out sections of my skin which look a bit overexposed and burnt out because of the sun. It is not that bright, but still it is kind of burning out some of the parts of my skin. So that could be a deal breaker for a lot of people. But again, let us know in the comment section what you think about the selfie performance of the Honor X9B. The Honor X9B comes with a mammoth 5800 mAh battery inside that takes a lo long time to charge. While we were expecting that the 30 watt charger would be given to us in the box, it did not come, it was delivered to us later, but we had run our tests and uh, yes, it, it takes its own sweet time to charge. While this is a big battery, I think 30 watt fast charging option is just too slow for people who are on the move, especially if you want quick battery juice in a short period of time. So be careful and understand that you will not get quick juice on the battery department. So yeah, you'll have to deal with that. The company has said that it will offer a 30 watt fast charging brick in the box for a limited period after which you will have to get one from outside, which I think is just absurd. If you're getting the phone to them, if you're giving the box, might as well pack the charging brick inside. Why not give it later? The battery backup with regular usage will last you a day and a half easily with regular internet connectivity and background applications running all day. We tested the battery drain by running a few 4K videos, playing BGMI and running a few benchmarks to see what kind of drain we get and it lost almost 27% in two hours, which frankly speaking, I was expecting something better, but uh, yeah, I was really pushing the battery. So the good thing is that you get enough battery juice with the Honor X9B 5800 mAh is not any day less, but again, the management is something that you'll have to take care of when you're using applications. So is the Honor X9B a good phone to buy in the mid-range category? It's a bit of a tough call. I mean, some people might like the design, some might not. It is a sturdy phone, so if people are reckless with their devices, I think that is a good option for you to have in your pockets. But apart from that, when you get into processing camera quality, I think uh, while processing would be decent enough, the camera is something I'm a bit disappointed with and I think Honor could have improved in that department. The battery is good. I won't say great, but good. The only problem is if you're giving a 5800 mAh battery, you might as well have included faster charging, which is not there. So while everything looks decent here, I think if I'm nitpicking, I would pick the uh, fast charging and also the camera performance to be a bit of deal breakers for me. But again, I would give the Honor X9B a uh, seven out of 10 in our fiber rating. Let us know what you think about this smartphone in the comment section and whether you would want to explore any other content with the X9B. Let us know. And as always for everything tech, stay tuned to fiber. But wait, hang on, wait, wait, wait. We have to show you the durability tests, right? The car, the phone, whether it survives. Let's check that out.